I will be showing you how to fold a paper airplane. Now I believe this is the one of the most easiest paper airplanes to fold. And today I'll be showing you how to make it. Right. Firstly, you need a standard sheet of A4 paper. Really, you can make it any size you want, as long as it is the oblong or rectangle shape like this. Right. Firstly, you need to fold the paper in half along the longest side. Now this is a very important fold, you want to make sure that it is as central as possible because this will decide whether your plane tilts to the left or right as it flies through the air. A very important line. So first fold your paper in half. Next you're going to want to open it back out, exposing that central line you have just made. Once you have got this line, either side of the piece of paper, we are going to fold the corner into this central line, just like this. So take your corner, creating a triangle along the line you are wanting to fold. So this side of the paper right here is now in line with your center fold line. Very important. And you want to do this on the other side as well. So take the corners and you want to make sure you line up both of your corners at the same length in the center of your piece of paper. So like that. So we have gone from an oblong to now folding in the corners. And next, this is probably the trickiest fold of the whole process. And that is you want to take the same corner again, just like this corner you folded in. You want to take this corner and simply pull it towards the center of your fold and line up this corner to the center of the page, allowing this side here to fold nicely up. So, just like that. So you are now going from this line here, folding it over, into the center of the page again. And you additionally want to do that with your other side as well, matching it. Now, personally, when I fold this length here, I occasionally like to leave just a little gap in between the folds just so when you come to the next step of folding it in half it makes it slightly easier so now you have this shape like this a arrowhead to a point you want to fold using that 
existing line. You have made the first fold. You want to fold it in on itself. As simple as that. Just fold the piece of paper in half. Now you want to make sure all of the folds you make are nice and sharp. The sharper the folds, the better the plane will cut through the air. So let me show you again. So you're simply taking the plane like this and folding it in half. Right, the next step is probably almost at the end now. We only have two more folds to go and one additional fold, but you don't have to. So at this step here, what do you want to do next is take this side of the plane here, you have two sides, take this side of the plane and you want to make this line match up with this side of the plane. So as I take this side up, I pull it down and as you can see I am trying to line up the sides of the plane and you want to make sure it does the entire width on this fold. As you can see at the end, where the wing corner faces up, you don't need to worry about that. As long as from this section here is directly parallel to that fold there. And then you want a nice sharp fold. Next, you simply flip the plane over and repeat that fold on this side, lining up that side with this one. Just like that. Everything about this plane is perfect symmetry. Now you are complete. All that's left to do now is to, from the bottom, spread these two wings out, holding the centerpiece, flipping the plane over, and lifting the wings up to your required angle, that angle right there, something you want it just above center, and there you have it, your paper plane, simple to fold, perfect to fly, and at this point it's ready to fly, however, if you are making this maybe for young children or you don't want to potentially blind someone with this point this is quite a sharp point and if it hits you in the eye well if it hits anyone in the eye it can be quite damaging so a simple fold to combat this simply hold the plane like this from the front open it up slightly Go maybe a centimeter or two into the plane and fold the corner piece inwards. And as you fold it in, you want to push it inside these two and fold it back over. And now you have a blunt end to your plane. You can fold this as much back as you want. I like just a little bit so you know if it hits someone in the eye it may still hurt but it's not going to cause any serious damage. So there you have it. That is how to fold a very standard, very simple paper plane. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like any more paper folding ASMR videos, let me know. I do quite enjoy paper folding, and that was that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.